All right, got that. Now let's now let's head on into the Gerudo village or Gerudo town. Wait, what? Okay, so men are allowed. How are we gonna get in? Oh, oh, I was so focused just now. Deb is me. Are you spying? What? What? N no, I'm not a spy. I'm a merchant. I may not look like it, but I'm actually the leader of a caravan. I've traveled all the way he here, but th this town doesn't allow men to go in, so that's why I had to um are you spying it's research research and think what you want but I finally found some key info, info on h how to sneak in into G Gerudo town huh? what info <laughs> well allow me to share with you my heroic tale it's been close to a week now the guards kicked me out t more times than I can count I almost gave up hope how however I learned only recently of a man that that slipped that slipped into this well-guarded town. I heard that this man fre is frequently traveling between Car Car Bazaar and the Grudo town. I've been waiting here tra trying to spot him as he travels, so he can be found at the bazaar. And oh wow, it th there goes the weather. Let's go ahead and eat one of the many many meals I've prepared. See, let's go for this one. Frozen bird thigh won't won't last long, so let's move fast. Okay, we made it back to the uh, to the bazaar. Now let's look around for that guy who who they said ha uh, travels between he here and the and the who who travels between here and that uh. In the, in the Gerudo town. Hmm. Huh? Oh! A lost memory! Oh yeah, th there was a picture of a... Of a, uh... Of, of an oasis, wasn't there? Wow. Holy crap. Past Link was a badass. And hey, it's it, and hey, it's yeah. Beetle. Oh, we meet again. This heat might be might ki kill me, but I, but not until I close the deal. Let's go ahead and see what he's got. Get our Let's get all 20 of these. Get these. Have plenty of arrows now. Even more arrows than we need. And I'm glad I put 
I found that memory. How many mem how many memories do we have left now? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Just five. Wow. I'll tell you, once I'm done, once I once I get to a certain point, I'm gonna have have a whole episode where I get the the rest of the memories, except for the one right here. Except for this one right here. I think that's in the final dungeon. I think that's in Hyrule Castle. It's most definitely in Hyrule Castle. Anyways, if memory serves me, the the man who uh, who slips into who slipped into Gerudo Town should be right up here. Uh, I was looking for a man, not a woman. Oh my, web. Lovely young lad, what do you are? Do you need something from me? Mm. What's that? You've heard about a man who snuck into oh. Gerudo Town? I don't know anything about him. Sorry, sorry, I couldn't be any more help. Squint mm. suspiciously. Uh, you're very beautiful. I'm sure you'd agree that only these clothes help my looks, right? Now that I think about it, this style would would look quite fetching on you. I'd have to charge you, of course, but I bet p people would com would see you completely differently if you wore them. What do you think? Do you want to buy them for... Okay, I cannot see that. Is that 600? I think that's 600. Yeah, it's 600. Alright, let's change into the new outfit. Oh. My... God. Whoa. Just as I thought, you make you make for quite a good-looking pet gal. That's a traditional Ger Gerudo outfit. It's such striking. It's such a striking look around here. I doubt anyone would suspect you're a man. On top of that, it breathes so well that that help you deal with the desert heat. At least a little. At least a little. I'm so glad I was able to help you out. If you're free to grab something to eat, uh, me, keep me in mind. Make sure you watch out for the wind. There are no words. Not since Cloud cross dressed in Final Fantasy VII has there been a more hilarious moment. Let's make our way back to Gerudo Town. Why am I do why am I uh what uh gliding there? I can just teleport. Okay, let let's head on in. Maybe this big sword would uh bit would be a bit uh what's the word? Uh, I don't know. I I don't know what word I'm thinking of. Let's head on in, and they just let us in right like that. All right. We need to talk to the leader here. Hmm. Savak. Yep. Great, you got the last of my free time with that greeting. What, what's the matter? Mm. I manage a shop that specializes in handmade accessories, but I've run out of flint. I need it to make m my items. If I had ten, just ten. If some kind of vi would, get, would give me ten pieces of flint, I could offer a nice reward. I can dream all I want, though. Nothing goes that smoothly in the real world. Accessories? I use rubies, sapphires, and other gems to make accessories. Each ge gem type has its own power that can 
transfer to whoever to whoever wears it. There's nothing I can do about that. I can do about not having flint any flint though. I have plenty of flint. Here's some flint. Huh? What? You're just giving these to me? Sarko Sarkso. But I can't take this all all for me without uh, j with just the Sarkso. But we hardly know each other and you've been so nice. Shops have been closed so long I hardly have any inventory. Oh of course. Now, now I have some flint, I can make a jewel accessory for you if you're in if you're interested in something, uh what will Sapphire do? Grant heat resistance. Yes, please. I'll put come in handy with this area. <laughs> Got a sapphire circlet. Don't tell my other customers, okay? Okay, I won't. That was a nice little side quest. Let's make our way up here and meet with the the, with the chief or the leader of this area. Yet another traveler. How did you get in here? Oh, seems you have something rather interesting there. If they have a voice, that means they're important. You stand before Lady Riju, chief of the Gerudo tribe. Declare your business, but come no closer. Hold on, Bal Balra. This one appears to be more than a common traveler. You there. What is your name? My name is Link. Link. And what have you cut? And what is it you have come all the way here to tell me, Link? I can call N Naboris. Aww. You think you have what it takes to subdue something so powerful as a divine beast? The only one who, who could ever control them were the champions like Lady Urbosa. And all of the champions died in the Calamity 100 years ago. Hmm. hmm. Balria... A memory just jumped into my head, something my mother spoke of. When the calamity happened, the princess ha ha placed the, a fallen swordsman in, into a deep sleep. That swordsman, much like our new friend here, was named Link, though it always seemed more legend than fact. But Lady Riju, do those stories do not also say that the Hylian champion carried a legendary sword? I see no such weapon in this person's care. They do indeed. If I recall correctly, it was called the sword that seals the darkness. The princess uh, supposedly hid it away in the lost woods. What of the device on this one's hip? It appears to be a precious relic of the Sheikah. I can't imagine they would give something so valuable to a simple drifter, can you? I don't remember ever hearing of a Hylian vi among the champions. Wait a moment, you're a Vaux! A Vaux within our walls is a great crime, but a Vaux who is a champion? Well, we'd never mistreat a friend of Lady Urbosa, and if you're he here to help us with N Naboris, then we are allies. You saw, you saw it on your way to our town. Divine Beast Va Naboris, cloaked in a massive sandstorm, hurling lightning at any who dare approach. We have to do something to stop it. But we have yet to find any way to appease the divine beast on our own. If you are truly a champion, perhaps you will be able to enter Noboris and calm its anger. Mm. Lady Riju, I do not see how you can trust a complete stranger with something as important as this task. Perhaps if this person were first to prove his wor worth by recovering your sto stolen Thunderhelm. Ah yes, an interesting suggestion. 
You you see, there is only one thing in all of Hyrule that can withstand the lightning of from Naboris. The the Thunderhelm, a family heir a family heirloom and relic of the Gerudo. But as Bol Boliara said, it was stolen from us. You needn't worry, Lady Riju. If he truly is a champion, this should be an easy task for him. Our soldiers can tell you all that all you need to know about the thieves who stole Lady Riju's heirloom. Head through this arch. It will lead you to the bar barracks. Then seek out Captain Teak and ask for a full report. Without my heirloom, you'll never be able to approach Naboris. Hey, you know, I take heart in having a, such a rare visitor as yourself. Lady Urbosa must be looking out for us. Indeed. Well, we have a new objective. Let's go. F we have to recover a stolen heirloom. Let's go talk to this captain lady. What are you doing in here? This, this is the barracks for the chief's guards only. Not a place for a tourist to gather. We're on high alert after a recent theft, so you should clear out. I'm actually here to help. What? Bol Boliara sent you? My apologies. I'm the officer in charge of the soldiers. Captain Teak. The, heirloom, the, the chief's heirloom was stolen by thieves belonging to the Yiga clan the other day. So everyone is on edge. We determined that the Yiga's hideout is in, in, the, in Carusa Valley, but... Soldiers are all exhausted, so I was just thinking of re about requesting some extra help. Oh. Hey everyone, listen up! Th this Hylian Vi has agreed to help us, so offer any information you can. Oh. can you consider yourself an important part of our unit. If you have any questions, my troops will be happy to help. Alright, let's see what they know. Hey, I haven't seen Barda. Where has she gone off to? She said she was going to scout the thieves' hideout, but then she left before we, she, we could say anything. I don't think about it. She's been gone for two days. I wonder what happened to her. You- Are you serious? Why'd you let her go by herself? And why'd you wait two days to report this? I'm- I apologize. She said she was just going to check it out and would be careful, so I thought... Ugh. If we aren't busy enough searching for the chief's heirloom, now we have to find Barda, too. If the captain hears about this fiasco, she'll punish us for sure. Probably 100 laps around Gerudo Desert again. Oh. Uh, oh no, what should we do? I'm thinking about it! Wow. That is quite the... That is actually quite the punishment. 100 laps. Let's see what... What do you have to say? Hmm, that look. You must be a Hylian You must be the Hylian Frelly was talking about. My name is C Comb. I'm Frelly's mother. We run the shop w where we rent out sand seals. If you plan on crossing the desert, you'll need a sand seal. It's, it may seem unlikely, but we're actually a thriving business, and it's so easy for a customer to get the hang of it. All you have to do is just stand on your shield and let the sand seal pull you along. Of course, our sand seals have... I've been trained. They're much easier to handle than a sand seal you'll find in the wild. If you're in need, just let me know. Ah. I would like to rent a sand seal. Let's seal the deal. Is that how young people talk now? <laughs> I wonder if it's just a thing outside Gerudo Town. Wow, Link. Just wow. Alright. Sand seals uh, put, s start moving on their own. Let's see. There's the valley that we need to go to. Let's go ahead and make a m mark on our map. So we know where the entrance is. And I see the tower. For Hang on. I see the tower for the Gerudo Highlands, so I want to go ahead and mark that. Bye bye. Yeah, I wanted to go ahead and mark that tower while I had the chance.
can see the valley is just ahead. Hey. And into the valley we go. You want to be careful that it gets very narrow in this area. And not to mention rocks. Path comes to an end right up ahead. Ooh. Ooh. Thanks for the lift. Duplex bow. It's kind of weird. For some reason, my uh, controllers desync whenever I try to aim with motion controls. Yeah, this is definitely the Yiga clan's place. As long as you keep, as long as you keep moving, they shouldn't be able to hit you. Two down. Gotcha. They sure do love their mighty bananas. Purple Ruby. Nice. Hmm. Burn all of these. See what we got behind each one. That's the way forward. What do we have here? Vicious sickle. No, this is. A great sword. There are some enemies behind them. Behind there. Ooh, a chest right here. Sapphire, nice. Destroy all the pottery!
One more chest. Got 50 rupees. Okay, let's finally go forward. Into the Yiga clan hideout. Hello. Hey, what are you doing here? This is the hideout of those Yiga thieves who stole the Thunderhelm. If they spy you, they'll call you their friends for sure. There's no way you can take them all on. If only you had some way to distract them, but I don't know how. All I ever see them do is patrol and eat bananas. I haven't seen anything else that you could exploit as a weakness. Listen, this place is dangerous. You should get out of here while you ha can. I could take care of myself. So this is the missing uh, uh, Gerudo that I went to scout this place out. Like, like she said, that um, these guys patrol the area, and especially these big guys. The, their swords, if you're, um, uh, as far as I know, in this level, their swords can one-shot you. Better put on some stealth gear. Oh yeah, while I'm here, may as well tell you, I found the monster care, the guy who with, who with the uh, monster shop, and I purchased some masks from him. The Mobla masks, the Lizalfos masks, the Lionel mask, and the Boko Blend mask. Just so I could have a little fun while between recordings. Okay, let's change our outfit to be a bit more stealthy. Well, shoot. Yes, see, they can. Uh, th those swords can kill you in one hit, as demonstrated right there. All right, let's try that again. Get our stealth outfit on. And uh, just speaking from experience, the way to distract these guys is bananas. These guys love bananas so much that it's the only thing that'll distract them. Just look at the way they walk. They won't hear a thing if, if you uh, put, if they're distracted by bananas. That once they see bananas, they just develop tunnel vision and go straight for them. And speaking of bananas. Got quite a few of them. And got some topaz too. There's a lot of gems around here, so so be sure to pick those up uh, when, when you get the chance. Okay.
Gotta be careful. Quickly climb this. Okay, I'm doing good. Okay, let's see. Bananas, bananas, bananas. Sort. No, that's not what I wanted to push. Didn't drop it far enough. Almost fell down. I'm gone, boy. Okay, here we are. Main room. Let's see what we got in here. Mighty bananas. <laughs> they had their bananas in treasure chests. That is that is hilarious. Hmm. But the I don't see the heirloom anywhere. Maybe there's a hidden thing that. Maybe, these are ninjas, right? They. <laughs> love hidden stuff. Got a ruby. Got a topaz. Let me guess, and this one's a sapphire? Let's head on through. I sense a boss coming. Yeah, big area, d big wide area. Of course, there's going to be a boss. Bottomless pit. Hey! Who the heck are you? And what are you doing in my napping spot? Wait a minute! That thing on your hip! Is is that... Could it be a Sheikah Slate? If that's a Sheikah Slate, then that means... Yeah, it's you! You're that Link guy I've been looking for! What? Look, my scouts are out in the fields looking high and low, but you just wander into my hideout. out! Oh, excuse me. I haven't introduced myself. I am the leader of the Yiga clan. The strong, the burly, the one, the the only... Master Koga! Now prepare yourself! Uh, oh, whoa. Ouch. Yeah, this guy is a bit of a joke. I should probably switch to a uh, to a smaller sword so I can get in more damage. <laughs> yeah, this guy is a bit of a joke boss. 
kind of reminds me of Zant. I mean, look at that. He, he is totally a, a reincarnation of Zant. Time it right. He even makes similar sounds as that. This is hilarious. <laughs> Gotta do is wait for time it right. And bam. Oh, this one's made of iron. Yeah, that is the end of that. Who would have thought I'd be done and by like this? And by this guy of all people. You think I'm just gonna let this stand, do you? Um, I almost lost my temper there. Ugh, what a pain. I can't go go out like get, I can't go out this way. What to do, what to do? Ah, I got it! <laughs> I need to bust out my serious moves. A secret technique taught by my father's mother's father. It will destroy you. This is the end. Didn't you already use that one? Oh, it's bigger. Aha! Uh huh. Huh. Maybe it's just a tad too big. Are you still over there? Well, no matter. Pretty soon you'll be gone. And not just from my line of sight. Only the leader of the Yiga clan can use this secret technique to... <laughs> Coward, I shall be remembered! The Yuga clan will track you down to the ends of High <laughs> Oh my gosh. This, that guy's hilarious. Look at this. And we've got the Thunder Helm. Now we have the have the item that we seek. Let's head back through and collect the the treasure that in the Yiga clan hideout. You don't need to worry. Everyone is gone. Leaving all this sweet bounty for you to collect. We're almost out. Looks like Barda got out as well. I'll be honest, when I first played through this area, it took me a while to realize that that the uh that the Yiga clan members were distracted by um bananas. They go bananas for bananas. I never, I never realized that until, until like, try number fifty. Oh, hang on. <laughs> 